Hello guys, welcome to Academic Solutions Online Student Program in partnership with Tivet Colleges. Together, we are making it easy with Level Up. Welcome to my grade 11 life sciences and today's topic is under human impact and environment and we are looking at loss of biodiversity. Okay. When we speak of biodiversity, we are looking at the variety of life on Earth. So, it is one of the most important as well as dangerous impacts that humans have had on on the environment. Have on the environment. So, we have habitat destruction where it is directly linked to what humans do as well as the increase in human population. So in South Africa we have mining of minerals and everything where land is being destructed so mining is the most destructive industry in South Africa it it affects biodiversity a lot and then we have poaching which is the illegal capture of animals or illegal removal of plants in South Africa we've had rhino poaching which is the well-known topic where rhinos are being poached for their horns which are used to make a lot of things for instance drugs okay um, In Central African countries, uh, primates and other animals are also in danger because of their meat. As people are obsessed with meat, they like it a lot, so plants are being killed for their meat. And this also kills biodiversity it affects the food chains in the environment and then we have alien plants invention you know when we speak of um, the alien plants those plants that are invaders to the land of the indigenous plants they tend to take over the environment as if it was theirs okay so we we have ways of trying to control alien plant inventions we use uh, mechanical chemical as well as biological methods so under chemical method it's way labor intensity and it is time consuming as we have people using hands or machines in order to remove the invaders or alien species so this is it requires a lot of work energy as well as it, it takes it takes time it requires time and then there is a chemical way of trying to control the alien plants where chemical compounds are used in order to prevent invasion of the species and it is very effective and it can kill a lot of them at a smaller time and then 
obviously less energy being invested. So when we speak of, of the biological control, this involves the release of specific species to restrict the spread, the spread of the invaders. So if we tend to have too much of a certain species within release the released uh maybe the the we release the pathogens to kill the invasive species or to reduce their ability let's say we know that uh, rodents eat maybe cabbage and let's assume that cabbage are invaded in a, a certain area so if now we see that we have more cabbages in that area we will then release the rodents into that area so that they can feed on the cabbages in that way reducing or controlling the number the number in the environment in that way we are managing the situation so now let's look at the indigenous knowledge systems as and the suitable use of, of the environment. Harvesting individual plants for medical and other purposes has always been something that we've been doing for in the previous years. So the plants like devil claw were traditionally South Africans were using it to reduce pain and fever so it was their way of dealing with with pain and also fever and then we have the rooibos which is a tea plant it was popular in the Khoisan tribe as they were using it for their Hepa remedy of a range of ailments. So they use it for a lot of things. Okay, uh, that's enough for the day. Until next time, I hope you're still enjoying, guys. Bye.